Right. Let's see if we can help at all. Somewhere under my bench, I have a Borg Warner. Aha! You seek, you shall find. Buried under the piles of rubbish. Not one, but two gearboxes. Oh dear. Hello young man, what are you doing? Right, you need to go outside please, I'm going to make noises. Go and play toys. Good boy. So, here we go. A very heavy Borg Warnery job job. So basically, what's going on from what I've seen in this image is that you've got Bear in mind, it's covered in dust, so I don't know where my brush just went. I had one a second ago. Clean up. Pretty dirty. I don't know what condition this box is in, but it probably needs a full rebuild. Excuse my croaky voice, I had a bug. There we go. Right, now. Uh, so you've dropped the plastic plug in there. And this is where you've dropped it in inside there now have i got a torch or any light in it no use my phone for a second i don't know where you dropped it but there we go i think what i'll do is i'll show you how it comes apart not rocket science but you're gonna have to do it you have to do it so heavy those things, they really really are, big old lumps of metal. Alright, let's find a wedge. Let's use that. Okay, impact gun, because we like noise. Wow. So, for anyone saying that you can just chew up the plastic, this is the pump at the front here. So this is the input shaft, which is which meets the drive plate on the flywheel of the engine. So this is the pump body. Um, if you get plastic inside there, you could you could chew it up or block a passageway, and I'd highly recommend that's that's not done because the plastic won't disintegrate. It would because it's probably nylon. It will just chew up into strands and it won't break down because it's plastic so it's a really bad idea to start trying to um to, to run it you would you would definitely do a lot of damage as i had this one sat around there's no harm in having a quick look i'm not going for a careful dismantle because we're not trying to so the pumps on these can be turned one way or the other depending on what rotation of engine you've got if you've got a twin setup you want the two working like together like that you, you don't get um, excessive steering so you get the gearbox rotating in the opposite direction so there's your key so this is the pump inside here um, let's see if I get the plate I've got to take the plate apart I'm not going to do it right now once that bits off you undo the casing here now the reversing clutch is inside here and there's springs that push up against it so the best thing to do with these is to stand them up on their end like that well you we say that it's got a bit of a, a seat because of the center bolt bit of a wobble Right, let me try and get this camera higher for you. Right, I trust you can see what I'm doing here. I'm sorry if the light's rubbish. I'll do my best. <clears throat> I think we need to drop down to about eight. I think. I'm 
one's not out. What is that? So it says 10. So maybe that is a bit, a bit knackered. Mm. That's not good. Um, Try and get this out. There we go. So that that bolt's kind of had it. It's chained up. I think they're all loosened. Sorry about that, I've got a wobbly table and unfortunately things do wobble about with this. So I am trying not to jar everything. That should just eventually pop off. It is, it is moving, I can see it from this side. Yeah, it's coming up. Um, This is a soft blow, it's an aluminium and rubber, sorry, uh, nylon and aluminium, so you can see now, you should be able to see that the casing's coming away. So just gently work it, because it will lift up with the springs. I what I was doing there. Oh, goodness sake, the camera is Nowhere to put anything at the moment, such as life. There we go. Love a whinge. That's my whinge for the day. We'll stop whinging now. Right. I've got the casing basically separated. So what we'll do is I'll get a couple of um, wedges in there and just start working it gently. I don't want to damage anything. This is, there we go. Is that a little pop? Right. That's the casing separated. And you lift it off down so just inside here is one of the, uh, the rams or pistons this whole piece is a piston that works against the clutch pack this is just full of brown sludgy watery oil so it's had its definitely had its day here's your main um, plate there When you come inside, you've got all these, you've got these springs, and that's what will push up against it. In some cases, when you undo those bolts, the top just gets bonk and pumps straight up. So don't lose them. Sometimes they can be broken as well. And if they're broken, then you need to um, replace them. Getting bits in the in the UK for these boxes is a bit of a challenge, I've found. But you can get the bits in the States, I believe, so it is all doable. But, oh, look, we've got a broken friction plate there, look. Has even changed shape slightly. So that's always friction. Drive, friction, drive. Yeah, they're broken. Mm, interesting. Wonder what's happened with this then. I'll put you back for a second. So once you've got the place, you've got your planetary arrangement here, and you've got to go inside there. Now, you've got to start taking circlips off, and you really are going to start taking this to pieces to do that. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we can get going a bit further for you. So I'm not in any, any major panic about what I do with this, but these are a bit 
fiddly these plies I've got. Oh my god, let's have a look. That might work. Can be a real cumbersome thing to get off. These little snap rings. Never been a, never been a big fan of these. Really awkward. Come on. Stuck in there. This hasn't been a part in a while. There we go. I really want to take that whole clutch pack as a part really. This is the other clutch pack inside here. Um, it's going to be quite a job if you're going to take it to pieces. It's not going to be, you know, you might as well keep persisting with what you're doing these in a while so so basically yeah once you've got the ignore the, ignore that Once you've done that, just pull the planetary arrangement out. You better get in there. So it's not a massive, impossible challenge, but you know you are going to have to go digging around to do it. So you basically, you want to get the box off, take the back plate out of the way, the pump out of the way, pump plate, sorry, the pump, back plate, pull the reversing uh, clutch out of the way, and then your planetary gears are there. And there's not really much to see. Let me just get you inside so you can have a look. It's always nice to have a nose. I'll turn that, I'll get the light in here. So there's your planetary arrangement. They're not that complicated. You know, just it, it might seem that way. I mean all crikey. I've got a seized one here. Oh, I don't know what's happened to this box, but it's got a seized set of gears. One size is um had it so yeah if you can see down in there you probably you, you might be able to see a little wiggly turn that slightly you might be able to see a wiggly orange finger so you in theory better get in there bit of a job but you can do it